The thing that Cozumel is probably most known for is its crazy visibility. And in some places you'll get 100 foot visibility, the water temperature is above 80 degrees, and a lot of the dives are actually drift dives. You pretty much go out in the boat, you get dropped off by your captain, and you just drift for an hour. Like you don't kick it all, you just let the current take you where it will along usually kind of a wall or a series of pinnacles. And you're following your dive master who will kind of redirect you to the best stretches of reef. And when people usually get low in air or they're getting saturated with nitrogen, the dive master will put up his safety sausage and you guys will all make your safe ascent to the surface. diversity and the abundance of marine life is simply astonishing, honestly. And it's just great to be there and be diving in a place where protection efforts have allowed this amazing reef to really continue to be enjoyed by generations of people. And speaking of really cool marine life, we saw probably around 20 turtles over the course of five days of diving. They were just chilling on the bottom. We were trying to kick to stay in place so we could see them for a couple more seconds. We also saw a lot of moray eels and typically you see these guys kind of in holes. They're more active at night so you'll see more of them there. But on this trip I saw probably an eight foot moray eel free swimming which I've never seen. Like it was just out in the middle of a bunch of ocean triggers and I got closer and I had my light up in his face and was definitely aware like at any moment he could turn on me but I was ready to bail out and let the current take me away. Wouldn't want to see that eight foot moray eel free swimming at night, but great to see it in 100 foot visibility during the day. So because we had 15 people, we were able to do some activities that weren't just underwater scuba diving. 
And one of those was a snorkeling tour, which I really liked because it gave the opportunity for some people that weren't scuba certified to get in the water and enjoy the underwater environment. And with the visibility being so good, you can easily see some pretty cool reefs from the surface. So after the snorkeling tour, the boat brought us into a kind of a shallow sandy beach and we just chilled there and had a kind of picnic slash party, but like in the water. So they had a little floating table with a bunch of food and you could just eat in the water. And there was drinks and music. It was a good time. One of the really interesting things was we saw maybe like 10 stingrays come very close to us. But nonetheless, it was really cool to see the stingrays come by. They were really chill, not out to hurt anybody.